welcome to my youtube channel i preeti kanbara today i going to show you how to make d multiplexer in xilinx using verilog so open your xilinx software go to file and select new project give your project name in this location your project will be saved next here some specification are given you can change it as per your requirement finish now go to project and select new source select verilog module and give file name with dot v extension select add to project and next Here, I is our input. Here, one zero zero S one is our input. A, B, C, and D is our output. Next. And finish. Now write register A, B, C, and D. That means we are defining A, B, C, and D as an output register. Here write D multiplexer logic. You can see if S1 equal to equal to 2 dash B double zero, in that A equal to I and B C and D equal to negation of I. Here 2 dash B indicates 2 bit of binary. Now save. Click on simulation and select source file. Double click on behavioral check syntax. can see this is completed successfully once again go to project and select new source select verilog text fixture give file name with dot v extension select add to project and next next and finish Here, one condition is already given for initializing D multiplexer. Here, we are writing I equal to 1 and S1 equal to 2 dash B00. Here S1 equal to 2 dash B01. Here S1 equal to 2 dash B10. And last S1 equal to 2 dash B11 for 100 nanoseconds. Now save. Click on simulation. Select source file. And double click on behavioral check syntax. For verifying waveform of D multiplexer, double click on simulate behavioral model. Click on this icon for zoom to full view. You can see when select line equal to 0, 0, then A equal to 1. When select line is 0, 1, then B equal to 1 and others are 0. When select line is 1, 0, 
then c equal to 1 and others will be 0. Right. Select line is 1, 1, then d equal to 1 and others will be 0. Now you can see our d multiplexer is designed. If you have any query regarding this video, then write on comment box. I will try to solve your queries. Thank you so much for watching this video.